Liverpool playing a 1 1 score draw with um, Crystal Palace. So, do you feel um, Sergio Mane absent has been the reason why Liverpool has been falling? You saw them playing a 2 2 score draw with um, Fulham. Now, complain a 1 1 score draw with Crystal Palace at home. Actually, I'm not surprised. Yeah. Um, because when uh, you are used to something, um, you get to abuse it. It's yeah. just like. Um, let me go to the Bible where they said um, Jesus was not appreciated in this town. Yeah. So, money was not really appreciated by the Liverpool board. Yeah. Because money actually loved Liverpool. Money is a true red. Yeah. All money asked was just a salary increase. increase yeah. And they failed to do that. People who aren't even better than money in other clubs are earning way better than him. So, he left Bayern, uh, he left Bayern Munich. Now, no one can satisfy that role in Liverpool because Mane was not just a striker. Mane was a defender. Yeah. Mane was a midfielder. Yeah. Mane was a workhorse. Yeah. So, as far as I'm concerned, for the next two years, Liverpool are going to, they are going to miss Mane and they are going to struggle. Luis Diaz, he can't compensate for that. Darwin Nunes, look at what happened. Darwin Nunes, a player I bought for £80 million pounds or so, 23 years old, head booting a Premier League player, yeah. taking a direct red card. Three straight games. He's, he has been banned for three straight games. Yeah. Money won't do that. Yeah. Money is a very humble, he's a calculated player. Money won't expose you to stuff like that. So as far as I'm concerned, Liverpool have not even started missing money. Look at money in the Bundesliga. Yeah. He has already won something. Yeah, and his scoring goes game in, game out. As far as, so, they are going to miss him, in my own so, opinion. Um, Gerard, you don't see Liverpool finishing the English Premier League at the top level. You don't see the, um, Liverpool actually winning the English Premier League no, no, for no, the 2022 no, no, stroke, no. 2023 Premier no, League season. No, I don't see Liverpool winning the Premier League. Without yeah. money, no, 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 no. Except there is a miracle. Maybe they sign someone before the window closes. But without money... No Premier League for Liverpool. But if you ask me, I feel Luis Diaz have been able to fill in that position left by Sadio Mane. You, you see Luis, um, Luis Diaz game in, game out, always scoring or assisting, always energetic in the field. I don't feel it's fair to judge Liverpool with these first two games. Mm. I feel we should give Liverpool like a, a five game or a ten. Now, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Because I feel Luis Diaz is not really doing too bad in his own role. He's always scoring and he's always assisting in every Liverpool Remember game. Luis Diaz was yeah. signed when um, Sadio Mane was still in Liverpool. Exactly. Luis Diaz was not a new sign. Luis Diaz yeah. was signed in January. Yeah. So, Luis Diaz, I have um, no issues with him. I, I actually, I give him all the respect as a yeah. player. He's a very fine striker. But there are some things, there are some things that Luis Diaz lack. There are some qualities that Mane possesses that Luis Diaz does not possess. Like I said, Mane is a defender, Mane is a midfielder, Mane is a striker. Yeah. Luis Diaz can give you that. Luis Diaz, all his qualities, all his efforts are on the attack. Luis Diaz also may be injury prone. Luis Diaz also lacks a handful Premier League experience. So for me, Luis Diaz can do that. As for Salah, Salah is a very good player, but Salah can't give you the energy that money puts in the game. Yeah. So that vacuum can't be filled too soon. Away from Liverpool, let us go down to our English lads, our Nigerian lads doing so well in the um, English Premier League, uh, in Nottingham Foreign, Forest and um, South Africa respectively. I'm talking about another person than Joe Aribo and um, Taiwa Wuni. They actually made, yeah. they actually scored on their debut game in the um, English Premier League. So do you feel these guys will actually Make us, um, make us proud in the, um, this 2022 yeah. 2023 Premier League season. Yeah, Joe Aribo and Taiwan Awoni, they are yeah. players I love so much because they are my brothers. Yeah. So we all hail from Nigeria and yeah. we are proud to be Nigerians. Yeah. Taiwan Awoni scoring on his uh, debut actually made me so excited. Even if the goal was like a fluke, but it's his yeah. goal. Yeah, he's able to For Nottingham Forest. And Nottingham Forest. A team just coming from the relegation. Yeah. Now three points in the bag. Yeah. And he has it to his name. Same thing with uh, my brother Joaribo. Yeah. Very nice goal, Joaribo. 
he, the, the goal showed confidence. Look at the way he scored it against Leeds. Yes, he, he gave him the pass. Yeah. Normally, what, what an attacker would have done was he shoot it down. He dribbled, he dribbled one, two, and, shoot. and he like, placed it's it a, in the net. A bright start that was, that's a bright start. That, that goal, it exuded his confidence and, and his charisma in the Premier mm. League. So, it's, uh, I wish them well. I wish, uh, wish Joaribo nothing less than 10 goals. I wish... Um, Taiwawoni, nothing less than 15 goals. They should make us proud. Do you see Joe Aribo actually displacing Cheche Adams in the, um, the striking for? Do you feel um, Joe Aribo is going to be their main striker for Southampton this season? Um, Joe Aribo well, is actually in um, Ralph Hassinot's plans. Yeah. So for me, Joe Aribo is not actually a contemporary nine. Yeah. Joe Aribo is a player who can play as a nine, who can play as a ten. We can even play from the eight. So for me, Joari Ball has come to stay. Joari Ball has come to play. Joari Ball has come to start. Yeah. They can't just buy him for Rangers to keep him on the bench because he was a very key. Um, he was a very key player for Rangers, Rangers yeah. who even took them to the um, Europa League final, final against yeah. um, Frankfurt, yeah. which they unfortunately lost. So Joari Ball has come to start. Joari Ball has come to play. For Taiwan, um, Nottingham Forest just signed. Another uh, Nigerian counterpart, Emmanuel yeah. Dennis. Dennis, yeah, from so, um, Tawa Awuni has to up his game, in my own opinion. He has to do better for him to cement his number nine role for Nottingham Forest. For, for a small team like Nottingham Forest, I yeah. think they want to go on the defensive foot. And they want to field um, a 4 2 3 1 formation. Yeah. So they want to play with a lone striker. So it's either Tawa Awuni or Emmanuel Dennis that will cut the shot. <laughs>